morning happy December it's been a while um, my name is Tiffany I'm a first grade teacher here in Arizona and welcome or welcome back to my channel um, look a little different my hair is in like a transition so last time you saw me I had like bangs and dark long hair um, but a lot of stuff has been going on so I'm sorry that I have gone MIA that was not my plan this year my plan was to be stay to be uh, focused on my channel and to not drop off like I usually do. But I've had some family stuff going on. Um, I've actually, yeah. So I've had some family stuff going on since September and I just have a family member that is not doing very well. And so that's where my focus has been. And so I've missed some days and I've had to have subs and I've been dealing with some behavior stuff in my classroom and all my free time has been spent um, pretty much with that family member, um, either doing stuff for them um, that they can no longer do or visiting them, staying with them, um, and staying involved in like their medical care and stuff. So, but today is December 5th, it's Monday, and we have 10 more days of school until break. And so I thought I would do the 10 days of Christmas. So some people do the 12 days of Christmas. I didn't quite get on that. Some people do like Vlogmas, not doing that either. Kind of a little bit. So my goal is to do a video every day um, for my 10 days of Christmas. And so good morning, it's Monday. I'm here a little later than I wanted to be. It's a little after seven, um, but I let my kiddos sleep in today. Morning. Oh, are you bringing donations to our classroom? Thank you, sir. Thank you for helping him. You guys are the best. All right, I'll see you in a little bit, okay, bud? Thank you. Okay, so we are running out of Kleenex at a rapid speed, and so I had written uh, my parents and asked for donations, and a kiddo just brought me um, Kleenex and Clorox wipes. So, yes, tis the season. First sniffly noses so um but i'm gonna get to work and kind of change my room over for um the new week but i figured let's do a quick little haul of things that i got this weekend also a couple changes in my classroom i now have a student teacher i don't think i've talked to you since then and so um she takes over in january she has been with me three days a week um, for the last couple months it happened after school started um, I, I did film um, me changing my room over I don't think I posted it um, because I feel like that was the same day that I got all the news about my family member or around them but yeah okay so here are some oh those are a little okay so some Amazon stuff for my for my grade level we are gonna do cinnamon applesauce ornaments Looks like they're going to be little ornaments. Um, but these are all of the cookie cutters. I think they'll still be cute. Little cookie cutters. We just got gingerbread men. Um, and then we're going to do like acrylic ornaments as well. As parent gifts. So those are those. Hold on, you can't even see because they're, I'm sorry, clear acrylic. So we're just going to paint those like little ornaments. Um and those came over the weekend. So, I'll disperse those today. And then I was at the Dollar Tree. And I got, where's the one I already opened? So I got these for everyone on my team. I just thought they were super cute. So, there are four teachers on my team this year, and then my student teacher. So, I got everyone one of those at the Dollar Tree. And then we are making little gifts, right? So I got little bags. That way the kiddos could do that, like put them in there. And then I got tissue paper for that so they could wrap their ornaments. And then, all of these. And then I have an obsession with books. Um, I've posted a little bit about like, the books that I buy. Um, like the scholastic boxes and stuff but I also buy books anytime I see them and I was at the Dollar Tree and we do AR so accelerate accelerated reader and so I scanned these and these are first grade level so I got two of each and they were $1.25 because the Dollar Tree is now $1.25 so I got two of those 
And then that's it for my haul. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I did get a Christmas tree for my classroom this year. And I thought it plugged in. I did not read the instructions or the description, obviously. And um, it takes batteries. So I also didn't check to see what kind of batteries it takes. So I think it's double A. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna get started with my day. So it's just a little $30 tree from Amazon. So just a little $30 tree from Amazon. Um, it did come broken, but I'm not even dealing with it. We're just going to keep it because I never get a Christmas tree. And if I were to like return it and all that stuff, I wouldn't have a Christmas tree for very long. So um, yeah, so I'm excited to have a Christmas tree in the classroom. The last several years I've had kiddos that don't celebrate Christmas and so to respect um, their belief system and everything I just haven't had a Christmas tree or decorated for Christmas. It's always been winter and so I don't really decorate or anything like that. So I was excited to have a tree this year but as you know my room is jam-packed full of stuff. I was going to say junk but full of stuff and um, so I needed something skinny and so that was the skinniest option I had plus it's just garland, so you just take it off and it collapses and it'll be easy to store. So um, I will check in with you guys a little later. I hope you guys are all having a great December so far. Okay, so the day is over and I didn't really update you today. Um, it was a busy day. We started our day with a... Um, foundations test which is phonics and then let me show you I'm working on yearbook stuff right now it's five o'clock I'm getting ready to go home um I'm exhausted I'm drinking a root beer um but I'll show you a couple things that are coming up so I always do a like my snowman melted project and um I cannot find my files for it so what I did was make a new one. And so I just made it on PowerPoint. And it says, my snowman melted because, and then they'll write why. And then here are the snowman parts. So you have three different size circles. I did a top hat um, and then a carrot looking nose, a triangle for a nose. And then what they do is they, um, they cut out the circles, they'll glue them on a blue piece of paper. They don't, they're not in order, right? They're kind of just laying on the ground in whatever order they want. They can be on top of each other, whatever. Um, they color the top hat, they color the carrot, and then they also add like dots for like the eyes and stuff like that, but it's all kind of laying down. Um, and then on this, they write why. So in the past, some students have written, um, you know, my snowman melted because it ate hot eggs, it drank hot cocoa, because we live in Arizona, because the sun is hot, and so all different ways. And so it's really neat to see what the kids come up with, but it'll go on blue paper and um, it turns out really cute. So a snowman melted project. Um, and then today we got our winter packet. Um, so we have a mix of math and reading and ELA in there. Um, and then I already showed you the ornaments that we're making. We are doing um, mugs, like hot cocoa mugs, and like hot cocoa inside as far as gifts for our kids. And so we got some of that stuff ready and I'll show you that. Um, as it gets closer when I'm assembling those and then um, what else I'm trying to think like what else um, I did today but that's pretty much it this is going to be a really short one for our first day of um, the 10 days of Christmas but that is it it's a quick one to get me back in the swing of things but um, yeah that's it so that's what we're getting ready for as the weeks go on. We have two more weeks 
and then we have Christmas um, Christmas break winter break and so I'll start being able to show you like what we're doing as far as projects walking you through those taking you through kind of what we're doing in class um, what the party setup looks like and all of that what we're doing and um, yeah, so I'll be able to take you through all of that. I've also had some questions asking like what my reading block looks like and um, how I facilitate like small groups and all of that stuff. And so I'll walk you through that as well. Also over winter break, I'm going to come in one day and I'm moving around my room. Um, my student teacher has been doing part time like three days a week and in January, I think I already said this though, she will move to every day and she is going to start taking over. And so if you guys remember from my classroom setup videos, I put my small group table at the front of my room. That way I could have my small groups and then I could still watch what was happening. Um, in my classroom, I could see the whole class, the door, like everything, um, which would typically work this year. However, I don't want to have my small group table at the front of the room while my student teacher is taking over. I want the focus to be on her. I want to pull kiddos during um, the day, but I don't want that to be the focus. I want um, it to be kind of away from my student teacher. That way everyone is starting to focus on her. And it's like this year, if I didn't have a student teacher, my desk is in the perfect spot up there, my small group table, because I'm still able to pull kiddos and I could see the whole classroom, but I could also still teach from that table if that makes sense. I have my dot camera, I have like everything set up there. So I could have kiddos there, well, and I do have kiddos there while I'm still teaching too. Um, so it does work, but it's not gonna work in January. Um, so yes, so I'm gonna move around my room. Um, yeah, I just don't want to take the focus off of her. I don't wanna take away from her. I don't want the kiddos to be paying attention to me and whoever I'm pulling or whatever. And so yes, I just want them focused on her. You'll also get to see um, what kind of gifts I'm getting her for Christmas, that whole thing, what I'm doing. And then, um, yeah, so a lot of things coming up in the next two weeks. Gonna be, it's gonna go by really fast, and I'll be able to walk you through a bunch of different things. And so, yeah, I'm really excited for it, um, and I'll walk you through all of it as we go. But happy first day of the 10 days of Christmas on my channel, and I hope you guys are having a great December. I hope you guys have had a great year. I know I've been in my, I kind of already went through that. Um, in fact, I was going to go visit my family member today, but it's already after five. And so I need to get my kiddos home and get them fed for dinner, figure out what we're doing for dinner. And um, I still need to work on the yearbook a little bit because I have deadlines 